हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज देवेंद्र कौर एंड यू ऑल आर वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल द इनलाइटन रूम इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द इनर्शिया एंड इट्स टाइप्स सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड वेल डियर स्टूडेंट्स इनर्शिया इज द टेंडेंसी ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट और ए बॉडी टू रिमेन एट द पोजिशन और स्टेट ऑफ रेस्ट और कीप मूविंग यूनिफॉर्मली In simple words inertia of a body is measured by the magnitude of force required to change the state of the body so larger the force required to change the state of the body greater is its inertia it is well known that when a body is heavy force required to change its state is large and therefore the inertia of a body is also large one more fact about inertia is that newton's first law of motion defines inertia and is rightly called the law of inertia now there are some examples of inertia number 1 it is easier to push an empty box rather than to push a box full of books the box full of books has larger mass and hence greater inertia as compared to the empty one imagine you are playing football with your friends and when you kick the football it flies away but if you keep the stone of same size of that football and you kick that stone with an equal force the stone hardly moves so the stone being heavier than football has larger inertia now the inertia is of three types inertia of rest inertia of motion and inertia of direction so let's first study about inertia of rest inertia of rest is the inability of a body to change by itself its state of rest This means a body at rest remains at rest and cannot start moving on its own. It can also be said that a body at rest opposes the force which try to move it. Now here you can see the various examples of inertia of rest. When a bus or train starts moving suddenly, the person sitting or standing inside the bus or train tends to fall backwards. This is because lower part of his body starts moving with the bus or train but the upper part of the body tries to remain at rest due to inertia of rest. Number 2 when we shake vigorously a branch of a tree the dried leaves of fruits fall down this is because of shaking the branch moves in the motion and the dried leaves of fruits tends to remain at rest. So due to inertia of rest the dried leaves of fruits get detached and fall now let's talk about inertia of motion inertia of motion is the inability of a body to change by itself its state of motion so this means that a body in motion remains in motion and cannot stop on its own rather a body in motion opposes the forces which try to stop it so here are the various examples of inertia of motion when a bus or train stop suddenly the person sitting or standing inside it tends to fall forward this is because the lower part of his body comes to rest with the bus or train but the upper part of his body tends to continue its motion due to inertia of motion now let us discuss about inertia of direction it is the inability of a body to change by itself its direction of motion you can see that a body moving along a straight line will continue to move along the same direction unless some external force compels it to change the direction of motion rather a body will oppose the forces uh, that try to change its direction of motion now you can see it through this picture there are two person sitting inside this car and this car is in motion So when that car takes a left turn the two person sitting inside this car tends to move towards right the same thing will apply when the car will try to move or tend to take turn towards right and the two person sitting inside that car tends to move towards left so in this video we discussed about inertia and its types hope you found my video useful thank you for watching